Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Spiral. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins at a festival where Boswick is chasing a thief. The thief runs towards a dark tunnel. In response, Boswick goes to the tunnel to chase the thief. Inside the tunnel, he walks slowly as he sees a sitting man. As he pulls it, it turns out that it is only a mannequin. Suddenly, a man with a pig mask kidnaps him. In the next scene, Boswick wakes up in a subway tunnel. There, a metal traps his tongue. Then, the footage plays, revealing his sins. It is shown that Boswick gives false testimonies to the court, sending people to jail. As a consequence, he needs to cut his tongue in order to live. However, Boswick hesitates to cut his tongue. In the end, a speed train hits him in an instant, ripping off his body. Meanwhile, Zeke, a detective, raids a drug dealer in an apartment. After the raid, he is about to leave the apartment in a fancy car. However, as the gate opens, policemen are waiting outside. As it appears, he does not coordinate with the other policemen during the operation. Later, in the precinct, the police chief reprimands him. As Zeke explains, he does not trust other police officers, which is why he does not want to coordinate with them. In response, the police chief assigns Schenk, a police rookie, as his new partner. It seems that Zeke is not happy to have a partner. Later, Schenk and Zeke head to the subway. Along the way, Zeke tells Schenk how hard it is to have a family as a policeman. Zeke believes that being a policeman leads to an unhappy life with an unhappy wife. Later, they arrive at the subway tunnel, where they see a body cut into pieces. Zeke starts to inspect the body, where he finds a Fitbit attached to the arms of the body. Meanwhile, Schenk is seemingly grossed out by the body. Back to the precinct, Zeke receives a blue box. The blue box contains footage that says, play me. Then, Zeke proceeds to play the footage. The footage shows a spiral sign in a courthouse. The spiral sign represents the jigsaw game where the players are set to die if they fail to win the game. The chosen players in the jigsaw game are those who have committed sins and refuse to reform themselves. However, the jigsaw was deemed to be dead years ago. As a result, Zeke speculates that it is a copycat of the original jigsaw. Additionally, the footage tells that Boswick is the player in the subway tunnel, and Boswick would not be the last one. After that, Zeke and Schenk immediately proceed to the spiral sign in the courthouse. There, they find another blue box. As they open the blue box, they see a tongue and the police badge of Boswick. Schenk appears to be grossed out again by the smelly tongue. Back at the precinct, the policemen discuss the case of Boswick. Suddenly, Zeke gets angry as Flitch intervenes in the case. It also appears that the other policemen betrayed Zeke in the past. That is why he is getting furious at them. There, he insists that he should handle the case since he is the friend of Boswick. After that, Zeke storms out of the meeting. In response, the police chief brings Zeke to the men's bathroom. There, she reprimands Zeke for his behavior. After that, they walk back to the meeting. There, the police chief tells the meeting that Zeke will lead the case. The policemen in the meeting are seemingly disappointed. Then Zeke starts to discuss the leads he knows regarding the Boswick case. He tells the meeting that there is a lot of footage in the festival, where Boswick is last seen. However, while Zeke talks about the leads regarding the case, the police chief notices the policeman around seems to be ignoring him. As a result, the police chief furiously tells him to cooperate with Zeke. In the end, she convinces everyone in the meeting to cooperate with him. In the next scene, Zeke is having a meeting with the policeman. In the meeting, they are studying the case of Boz. It seems that Zeke speculates that the Boswick case relates to the Jigsaw case. Meanwhile, Shank borrows Zeke's phone and walks out of the meeting. Then, a police officer with a coffee arrives at the meeting. There, the police officer discusses the footage cams in the festival where Boswick is last seen. Meanwhile, Flitch is checking the footage cams in the festival area. Then, he recognizes the thief being chased by Boswick at the festival. He refuses to inform Zeke regarding the info. However, he decides to take the case into his own hands. Later, Flitch goes towards a dark warehouse to find the thief. Then, he proceeds to inspect the dark warehouse using a flashlight. Inside, he sees a man with a blanket. He thinks that it is the thief. However, as he removes the blanket, it reveals a creepy pig mask. The pig mask terrifies him, making him pull out his gun. Instantly, someone kidnaps him using a white cloth. A while later, he wakes up with a torture machine locking him up. Right then, the torture machine activates. The torture machine is pulling his fingers, making him shout for help. In a few moments, the torture machine stops. He tries hard to escape the torture machine. The scene ends where the pigman creepily informs him that it wants to play a game. 
Meanwhile, Zeke is in his apartment. A delivery guy delivers food from his father. Inside the apartment, Zeke has a flashback of his father getting angry. It turns out that, in the past, Zeke turned in a fellow police officer that committed a crime. In return, his father gets angry, since the act of Zeke can destroy the image of the police force. It appears that Zeke feels that his father wants him to cover up the crimes of the police officer just to preserve the good image of the police force. The following day, Zeke receives a blue box in the precinct. The blue box contains footage. As he plays the footage, it shows a spiral sign in a van under a bridge. Then, a pig doll tells him that salvation is offered, but it is declined. Additionally, the pig doll warns the policeman. After that, Zeke and the police officers head towards the spiral sign in the footage. As Zeke opens the door, a smelly pig shows up in front of him. Then, he finds another blue box. This time, the blue box contains seemingly burned fingers and the badge of Flitch. As Zeke holds the badge, the scene flashes back towards a criminal chase. In the past, Zeke tried to call Flitch for backup as he fought a criminal. However, Flitch refused to back up Zeke. In the end, Zeke got shot by the criminal. Later, Zeke and the police officers arrive at the warehouse. There, they find Flitch's dead body. Then, the scene flashes back before Flitch's death. In the flashback, a footage plays revealing the crimes of Flitch while he is tied up in a torture machine. It appears that in the past, Flitch murdered a man who simply insulted him. In the footage, his fingers pull the trigger. In return, he needs to cut his fingers off by activating the machine in order to survive. Otherwise, the water will electrocute him if he fails to do it in time. In response, Flitch activates the machine, making it pull his fingers slowly. He is grunting due to the unbearable pain. In a few moments, the machine successfully pulls his fingers off, making it look like fresh sausages. However, the water reaches the electric wire, making it electrocute him. In the end, the electric water roasts him like a chicken. After that, the scene flashes back to reality, where Zeke looks at the roasted corpse of Flitch. There, the policemen are speculating who is the culprit behind Flitch's death. The other police officer seems to be blaming Zeke for it, since Zeke and Flitch seem to have a bitter past. Meanwhile, Zeke decides to find the thief, thinking that it has something to do with Flitch's death. Afterward, Zeke and Shank go to a drug dealer who appears to know the thief. However, the drug dealer tries to fight them in a gunfight. Successfully, they catch the drug dealer off guard, breaking its leg. In the end, as the drug dealer screams in pain, it reveals to them that the thief is already dead. In the next scene, Zeke receives another blue box. This time, the police officers think it is a bomb. In response, Zeke tells the other police officers to go outside. Then, Zeke opens the blue box. It reveals a pig jigsaw puppet and Shank's skin. This makes Zeke think that Shank is dead. He is angry deep inside that the young Shank dies, leaving a family behind. Additionally, he finds a bottle that says Constantine in the blue box. This makes him remember the photo with his father behind the Constantine shop. After that, Zeke heads towards the Constantine shop. Inside the shop, Zeke is astonished to find a skinned body, who appears to be Shank. As Zeke looks at the skinned body, a scene of how the skin is removed from the body plays in his mind. The scene seemingly horrifies Zeke greatly. Meanwhile, the police chief goes inside the filing office alone. As she walks inside, a pig mask surprises her. Suddenly, the door locks as she tries to run away from the room. Then, a tear gas starts to pop off, putting her to sleep. After that, she wakes up tied up and unable to move. She plays a recording that tells her the rules of the game and her sins. It appears that the police chief covers up the crimes done by the police officers. In return, hot wax will drop to her face, slowly covering it. In order to stop it, she needs to injure her spinal cord using a blade behind her. In a few moments, a hot wax starts falling on her face. The wax is so hot that it burns her face, making her scream in pain. Meanwhile, she tries hard to cut her spinal cord with the blade. However, in the end, she dies painfully through the hot wax that burns her. At the same time, Zeke rushes towards the location of the police chief, realizing that she is the next target. However, on his arrival at the room, the police chief is already dead. He tries to remove the wax from her face. The wax reveals the cooked face of the police chief. Then, he tries hard to save her, but it is already too late. After that, he proceeds to check the footage before the police chief's death. However, the footage has already been deleted by someone. In response, he checks the people who have accessed the footage. It appears that his old partner Pete and his father accessed the footage. Pete has been out of the police force since he shot a witness in the past. Immediately, Zeke thinks that Pete is behind the killings of the police officers. 
Meanwhile, the other police officer thinks that Zeke's father may have something to do with it. It seems that the police officers do not have trust in each other. As a result, the pursuit to find the killer becomes more difficult. At this moment, the rotten police system haunts back the police officers. Later, Zeke goes towards the church to find Pete. He cannot find Pete in the church. Also, he calls his father in anger. Instantly, the pig Jigsaw kidnaps him using a white cloth. Meanwhile, the police chief is walking in a creepy warehouse. He seems to be trying to catch someone there. Inside, there are a lot of spiral signs painted in the hallways. Then, he sees several pig heads hanging there. Suddenly, the pig Jigsaw appears behind him. Instantly, the pig Jigsaw kidnaps him. At the same time, Zeke wakes up in a warehouse hand tied up. Luckily, there is a pin around that allows him to escape. In front of him is another tied up man with a hidden face. He removes the cloth from its face. As it appears, the man is Pete. Then, a recording instructs Zeke on the rules of the game. The game lets him choose whether to serve justice by letting Pete die, or help him escape death. In a few moments, the machine starts activating with a creepy sound. Then, the machine starts shooting shattered glass at the back of Pete, making it as bloody as it gets. Meanwhile, Zeke finds a key in the trash can. Using the key, he decides to help Pete escape a painful death. However, he is too late. The shattered glass already kills Pete. After that, he runs towards the upper floor of the warehouse, where he finds Shank waiting for him. As it appears, Shank is the real mastermind behind the gruesome deaths of the cops. It turns out that Shank is the son of the witness shot by Pete. That's why he grows up having the mission to clean the rotten police system. As he explains, the spiral that he uses is a sign of progress and evolution inspired by the original jigsaw of John Kramer. After that, he asks Zeke to be his partner to clean up the police system by killing dirty cops. Throughout the time of Zeke as a police officer, he is surrounded by dirty cops stabbing him in the back. This makes him work alone and not trust anyone in the police forces. At this moment, Shank seemingly gives Zeke an opportunity to make his fantasy of a clean police system a reality. However, it will come to reality only by a bloody purge of the dirty cops that makes the rotten police system. In the end, Zeke accepts the offer. After that, Shank calls 911 and makes the SWAT go to the warehouse. Then he gives his gun to Zeke. Shortly after, Shank guides Zeke towards his father at the other part of the warehouse. There, Zeke's father is hanging while blood is dripping from him. After seeing that, Zeke angrily wants to shoot Shank. However, Shank reveals to him that the gun only has one bullet. He gives Zeke the choice of whether to shoot Shank or shoot the spiral sign to save his father. After that, he reveals to Zeke the sin in his father. Apparently, Zeke's father writes Article 8, which allows the cops to kill people at their own discretion. In response, Zeke's father defends his action. For him, Article 8 is completely justified. The killings resulted in a lower crime rate in the streets. At that moment, Zeke needs to choose quickly, since his father is slowly dying. In the end, he shoots the spiral sign. As a result, Zeke's father falls to the floor and the blood stops dripping. Then, Zeke chases Shank into the elevator. There, he beats up Shank in anger. Meanwhile, the SWAT arrives at the scene. As the SWAT opens up the door through a cutting machine, they accidentally cut a wire that activates a machine. Then the machine, through strings, starts pulling up Zeke's father like a puppet. As the SWAT enters inside, they point a gun at Zeke's father and instruct him to put down the weapon. Suddenly, the strings control Zeke's father, making it appear that he is about to shoot the SWAT. In response, the SWAT opens fire at Zeke's father, killing him in the end. At the side, Zeke is in tears as he watches his father die. Meanwhile, Shank is unnoticed by the SWAT and escapes through the elevator. In the end, Shank hushes at Zeke in his grand exit. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.